What's up, family? All right. Day two. I started without recording. I always do. You know that. But anyway, I'm making an amp rack. So, so far, this piece wasn't quite wide enough to make my base of my amp rack. So, I had to extend it out a little bit. No big deal. Still hold the amp rack just fine. Be okay. Um, I got my side piece right there to cover this on the bottom here. I got a piece right there to cover on this side. So I'm going to box it in all the way around except for the side that goes up against the box. So uh, let's get it. Just wanted to get y'all caught up to where I was at. Like I said, all I did was extend that piece out. It's the width. If I put that amp on there and the other amp, I got a very small piece on the end, and uh, I'm going to cut out a little section for the battery, and I'm going to make like kind of like a little makeshift wood scrap and have it like kind of all mashed together, however you want to say it. But uh, you'll see it when it's finished. Stay tuned in, and let's get day two going good. It's early in the morning. It's kind of cool. I'm trying to get as much as done as I can while it's cool. And um, it's what it is. I'm going to catch y'all up in a minute. Let's go. All right, you two. We're back again. I just want to give y'all a quick update. Let you know sort of what's going on. So that's the layout that I'm going for so far. See how the battery's over to the side. Well... Basically, what I'm going for is it's jammed against here, so it can't go that way. It can't go that way because of the box, and it can't go that way because of the amp rack. And I got this piece right here. I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut this piece to fit in there, and I'm going to have it where it... Hold on. Let me show you. I can show you better than I can tell you. Hold on, you guys. There we go. It ain't want to cooperate, you guys, because I got this camera, but you understand. So basically, it's going to be like that. I'm going to close off this gap right here, too, so it's going to be like it's faced off or whatever. And um, that way, the battery can't move. It can't go that way because of the box. can't go this way because of the tire well. can't go that way because of the rest of the rack. And we'll have access. Of course, I can slide everything over a little bit, manipulate. I think I'm going to turn this like this, as a matter of fact, to manipulate that to get a little bit more space out of it and slide that over just to make it look a little cleaner. So, hope you get the drift. I'm trying to stay simple, quick, and easy. Um, this is not a big money build or by any means. I, I'm... Technically, he just wanted me to put these amps in here, and I'm trying to put it in here as neat as possible without too much effort, if that makes any sense. But stay tuned in, man. Hope y'all like the way things are going. Like, share, and subscribe. Let's get it. All right, family. We back. Sorry it took a while for me to get back at it. I've been working. But anyway, so... Here's the whole amp rack. Ran it off the corners and everything. You already know. Make it look a little bit good. Got it all glued up, ready to go. It's drying right now. Put the piece on to hold the battery. So that's where we're at with that. This piece right here, I'm going to use to hold uh, some six and a halves and some super tweeters over the top of the box. And this piece right here is going to be used to mount the amp rack. So stay tuned in. We're getting there. As soon as this stuff dry, I'll start going ahead and installing stuff. Uh, while this is drying, I'm going to start doing the wiring on the box. That way, as soon as this is dry, I can go ahead and throw this in and start wiring the amps. So stay tuned in. Let's get it. 
I don't think that looked too bad, guys. Something simple. Something clean, something simple. Let's get it. All right, family. So I was doing a test run with the amp rack. What y'all think? That's what it's going to look like. I said, keep it simple. That's all it is to it. Keep it simple. I was just doing a test run to see what it fit like. See how good it holds. It works out good like it's supposed to. You can't hardly tell that that piece of wood split right there. I mean, you can tell, but you can't at the same time. It's no big deal. Got the, all the corners rounded off real good. Got them looking smooth. Just nice and clean. So, like I said, test fitting that. That fit great. Uh, I already ran uh, two more sets of RCAs. So, all three of the RCAs are ran back here. One for the sub, one for the front, one for the rears. Um, yeah, I needed to run a remote wire. They already had the wire ran, but they didn't run a remote wire for some strange region. And I'm just now realizing that. So I need to run a remote wire and basically start cutting and tidying everything up. And, uh, it's pretty much a wrap. So like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned in. Let's get it. Also, I think there's a change of plans. There is nowhere to mount four inch speakers up here. I thought there was because of this on both sides, but there's absolutely nothing in there. Look at there. Nothing to screw to, nothing to mount to, nothing to cut out. Like there is nothing there. So I'm about to call him and see if he wants me to cut this out on the outside to where I can mount it on the outside and then just run the wires to do the four and a halves or if he wants me to put them somewhere else all together I have no clue all I know is there's nowhere to run them or mount them here the way this is made I could mount it from the back side and then put the screws through the front and not cut it out but just have the screws in the front but like I said that's his call I don't think it really matters. Uh, I'm going to call him just to make sure. It's a customer's car. You can't just do whatever you want to other people's stuff. So I'm going to call him, make sure I get a green light on that. And I mean, that's pretty much it, honestly. The amp rack was the only thing that I actually had to build. Besides, I'm just going to mount that one board up here to this and have it sticking up over the seat for the um, for the super tweeters and the six and a halves a so he can keep these and have an extra set or more mids and highs and b because the six and a halves won't fit in these pods so it is what it is let's get it stay tuned in we're about to make this thing do what it do you too What's good, family? So, let y'all see where I'm at. I got all my wires ran back here, ready to be hooked up. Here's all four channel wires for the four channel amp set up. Got my remotes, got my two powers, got my two grounds for both of my amps. I got my sub amp RCAs, and I got both sets of RCAs over there oh you can't see it's dark i'm sorry guys well sorry but both sets of rcas are over there for the uh, mids and highs out front and back so everything's wired and everything's hid up here going into the bottom of the amp rack so i just need to hook everything up and trim it off uh got my fuse in here all these wires see they got lugs on them here's both of my power wires both of them got lugs on them, ready to go. Uh, one's my main charging wire. One's my sub wire. Here's my mids and highs power. And here's my mids and highs ground. So I'm going to ground this and the other black wire. It's already down there, but I haven't grounded it yet. 
I'm a grind it on ground it on the seat boat. And the only reason why, let me go ahead and show you guys, because I know how some of you people are. You never supposed to ground it on the seat boat. Well, A, it's the closest thing I can get to, and B, if you can see that right there, it goes directly to the frame. See that? So uh it should be perfectly fine. I did the big three upgrade up front. Like, it should be perfectly fine. If we have trouble out of it, I'll switch it. It is what it is. So, uh, hook both of those grounds in down there. And uh, just hook the battery up and mount everything, and I'm done. As far as the wiring, then all I got to do is mount the two subs and put the radio in, which I think he said is already wired. Um, I run all new wires. So, uh, I just need to hook them in. I did not run all that mess up in there. So, hey, my wire is right here. This is why I ran. <laughs> this wire goes all the way to the back to the amp. I got to cut it off and uh, hook it up right there. So, that wire is ready to go. Uh, all these wires are just hanging out. They're ready to go. As you see. So, uh, yeah. Just giving y'all a quick update, letting y'all see where we at. Um, like, share, and subscribe. I hope y'all still watching. And I hope y'all like the progress. It is hot out here. I am sweating to death. So it's taking a lot for me to get this done. But like I said, I finally got all the wires ran. The alternator's on. It's done. Um, yeah, I just got to start hooking stuff up. That, if you haven't figured out, is there to mount that. All I do is screw it back, and then that can't slide anywhere. It'll be mounted to the box. And uh, like I said, you can't see any of the wires. All the wires is under here. And you'll only see the wires right here where it comes out of the carpet and goes into there and where it hooks to the battery and the little fuse, of course. But uh, like, share, and subscribe, man. Stay tuned in. I'm rambling. Let's get it. I got to get back to work. YouTube, what's good, family? I'm back again with another update. It's been a long day, family. I am burning up hot. It's like 90-something degrees out here, and it's been hot all day. But anyway, give y'all an update. See where I'm at. I got this, the two six-and-a-halves, the two super tweeters. Everything's all wired up. Got it running down, going to the amp, plus all the these speakers up here and the speakers down there in the dash that I put in there. All those, everything's wired up to the amp, as you can see. The amp is ready to go. All the wires are wired up to the amp. Sub amp and mid and eyes amp. Everything's wired all up. Everything's ready to go. All I got to do is connect the leads here. Well, all three of these. Connect all three of these leads to the top of that battery there. And I got to run the ground. I had to wait till I moved all this stuff off of the seat so I can lift the seat up. But um, I got to run the ground. And uh, that's it. Hook everything up to the battery and run the ground. All the all the, all the the uh, lugs are already on, all the wires. I just literally got to connect them. So let me get this ground done. Oh, I got to get this ground done. I got to mount that last speaker up front right there on that side because I got to move all that stuff to mount it. That's the only reason why I didn't mount it yet. The wires already ran across there to go to it, and the wires already ran to the amp. So I just got to mount that speaker. Once I mount that speaker, I can put that whole bottom dash piece back on. And that should definitely be it for me for wiring. Oh, I got to mount the subs. Still got to mount the subs. I haven't mounted those yet. I have ran the wire, as you see it, hanging out the top of the box there. And it's wired into the amp already, as you see it down there. So stay tuned in. We're getting closer. We're running out of daylight again. I'm going to have to take another break. I had to take a break and cool off for a little bit and go to the store and all that stuff earlier. And um, I got back and uh, I've just been getting after it. So... Let me know what y'all think in the comments. This is, like I said, it's just a quick, simple deal, something. 
the cheapest way I could do it, figure out how to do it. If you're wondering why I put just this board like this, I mean, it's solid. You got to worry about it going nowhere. It don't look terrible. It is what it is. The man needed some his eyes, so we're going to make it work. Stay tuned in. Like, share, and subscribe. We're going to get these grounds ran, and we can't, we're can't. we going to see if we can't get this thing to make some noise. Oh, I do got to put a fuse up front still, I think. I did cut the wire and everything, I think. Yeah. See, I rerouted that wire down through there and up under there and then come out right there, and then it comes out back there right where it needs to go into the fuse. So, yeah. Both ends of that wire is already hooked up. I just need to take that tape off of it, stick it in the fuse, tighten it down, skin that other side, stick it in the fuse, tighten it down, and that'll be done. So, yeah, stay tuned in. We're getting closer. Let's get it. You too. I'm back, fam. Sorry it got dark on me, you guys. So, I wanted to give y'all an update. I got everything done. I got everything done that I was supposed to get done. Alternators on, victory zone, all that stuff is done. Everything's wired up, ready to go. As you can see, power lights, power light. Everything, everything's done, pretty much. The subs are mounted. I wired those up. So, the problem is <laughs> this fucking radio. This radio is one of those radios that doesn't have front rear uh, jacks. It only has one set of jacks and then it's only got one sub-level jack. So, Therefore, he's going to have to get three Y cables and run a Y cable on each jack to plug up everything. So, I'll be finished tomorrow whenever I put three Y cables in there. Everything else is done, as you see. The bottom part of the dash is back on. The speakers are in it. Like, everything else is done. See the mids and highs, all that stuff's wired up. Everything's done. I'm sorry, guys. I want to give y'all a good demo, but hey, I got to the last point where I was supposed to plug that stuff in before I even knew that it wasn't enough jacks to plug everything in, too. So, as you can see, it's pretty much dark. It's like nine o'clock, I think. So, I definitely ain't gonna get no Y cables tonight. So, uh, Tomorrow, I'll get some wire cables, slide that radio in, and I'll be done. Literally plug up some wire cables, and I'll be done, because everything else is done. Literally, everything. So, stay tuned in. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank y'all for riding along with me this long. I'm sorry, you guys, that I couldn't finish. I had no clue that radio didn't have jacks in it. Like I said, you see, as far as labor, all the work is done. All the wiring is done see it's powering up Every, like everything's done i just need those jacks so stay tuned in hopefully we'll get a demo of it tomorrow i'll probably go ahead and post this video because i'm trying to give y'all more footage and stay on top of things a little bit better so i'll probably go ahead and post this video and uh i'll probably do a demo and post it in the video with the central or with Cuzzo's car so stay tuned in Let's get it. YouTube, what's good, family? Another day, another mission. Let's get it. So, as you seen in the update last night, I had finished everything except for putting the fuse up front and popping the radio in the dash. Uh, I still haven't popped the radio in the dash because he's got to get Y cables for all his RCA connections and I'm not going to get them so it is what it is um, I tried to play the music and record at the same time my phone's tripping it won't let me do it so I was just giving y'all a quick little overview 
what we got going on. Everything tightened up a little bit. I blow the fuse already. I had to change it front and back. So it is what it is. Now it's got two 300s in it. Uh, I played it for a good bit. There's absolutely no clipping on the amp right now on the settings that it's on. Um, my opinion, it sounds pretty good, but I don't like how the box is tuned. It's not really hitting the right notes for me, but I mean, it's pretty loud. It sounds pretty good. So after he gets here, I'll try to give somewhat of a demo. Oh, also, there's only one RCA jack hooked up on each thing because there's only one set of uh, RCA jacks coming from the radio that's audio jacks. So one, the right one is hooked up into the front part of the amp and then the left one is hooked up into the rear and then it has a sub-level plug. It's one of the cheap radios, so it has the one single sub-level plug. I mean, sub-control plug. So he's got to get a y, three Y cables. So it's only getting signal from one RCA wire or one side on the front and one side on the rear. So I really can't give you a duo. Uh, after he gets here where he can play the music and I can record with my phone, I'll try to give somewhat of a demo, let y'all see what it's doing. Uh, everything, that's it. Alternator seems to be going fine. Everything should be going fine. I did not route that wire like that, so don't slay me. It is what it is. It was already ran. I tried to tuck that down in there and hide that as best I could, but all that I did not do. Alternator running fine. Everything's good, though. So. Like, share, and subscribe, man. I hope y'all like this little old build. It's pretty fun. The leaking transmission fluid. I just now noticed that. Fried that fuse. Let's get it. All right, family. I'm going to try to give y'all a baby demo. I still don't got the cables I need, but... I got my USB playing so we can get a baby demo. Let's get it. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Hey, you guys, I ain't gonna tell the owner that it'll float a bag. So it's gonna be a surprise for him if he actually watched the video. He said he watches my videos. So if he watches the videos, he'll know he can float a bag with both of the windows cracked pretty good halfway down. Meaning it'll probably do a hair trick. These subs ain't broke in yet, so it'll definitely probably do a hair trick. That's what he was wanting. So we'll see. Surprise. Let's get it. 